promised a part two for those who are looking to move abroad with job opportunities. And that's why I'm doing this one. Hello, folks. This is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. Always bring you the best gist when it comes to travel and migration. You know how we do it on this channel. We just share information that has to do with living, moving, working, staying abroad. So long as it has to do with being abroad, this is where you want to be. If this is the first time of you coming across my channel, I want to say welcome. You're in the right spot. You will never want to miss a thing. So please do turn on your notification bells, subscribe, and get on the groove. For those who have always watched my videos, I hope they've been helpful. Loads of abundant um, testimonials coming through over the last week, but um, for those who are still expecting to move abroad, um, your time will come, okay? Um, two quick things before I get into this episode that I want to discuss with you is, number one, I am not on WhatsApp or Telegram. So if you see anybody dropping comments and saying, um, reach out to me on Telegram or WhatsApp, it is not me. Number two is to say that recently I wrote a book, a book that's titled Move Abroad by Force. The idea behind this book is to help you move abroad on your own without needing the use of any agent. So if you need information as to how you can move to cheap countries, it's in the book. How you can get scholarships, it's in the book. How you can get to move abroad without a job offer, it's in the book. How you can move abroad without a degree, it's in the book. How can you get this book? All you need to do is go to the description box of this video, which I'm about to show you. The description box is where you have details or information about the video you're watching. Click on the link and you'll be able to purchase the book. If you also want to reach out to me one-on-one, -on -one, there's a link in the description box of this video that you can reach out to me through. All right, now let's get it. Um, let's get started with this with this episode. I made a part one, okay? I made a part one, first episode of 10 countries you can move to for free or at no cost. If you missed that video, make sure you go watch it. It's simply for those who want to go abroad through the academic route. 10 countries you can move to without paying tuition for free at zero cost. Make sure you watch that video. Now, I promised a part two for those who are looking to move abroad with job opportunities. And that's why I'm doing this one. Now, it is very important to know that you can get jobs abroad if you've got the right skill set. It's very important to know that you can get jobs abroad, but you must have the right skill set. You must be patient, you must persevere, and you must know how to take advantage of those positions. That's what this video is all about, and I'm hoping that I can help you. Okay, in this episode, I'm gonna be sharing 10 websites or more, but I need to follow me step-by-step step as I'll be sharing 10 websites that would help you with jobs abroad. Now, a few things, just to set the tempo, a few things. Number one, if you, are, um, if you wanna apply for jobs, you need to have a CV, okay? Now, you cannot be applying for a job in Canada with a South African CV. You cannot apply for a job in Australia with a Nigerian CV. You cannot apply for a job in Germany with a Canadian CV, it doesn't work. It means that you must have different CVs for different countries. So a Europass format CV, Europass, E-U-R-O-P-A-S-S -S, format CV for European countries, um, Canadian style CV, UK style CV. So you must have different types of CVs. Now, if you want to know how to get your own CV, just go on Google and type CV generator and you'll be able to see an app or a website that would help you with different formats of, of, of CVs. If you want someone to hold you by your hand and help you generate a CV, reach out to Careers by Ife on Instagram. Careers, C-A-R-E-E-R-S by Ife, I-F-E, on Instagram, and she'll be able to help you. Now, let's get to this website. Uh, yeah, another thing I wanted to say is this. It's important for you to know that you need skill. 
if you don't have money to move abroad, you don't have an education to move abroad, get a skill. Most of the job boards and job sites I'm gonna be talking about in this video, tech skills, engineering skills, sales, marketing, teaching, um, healthcare, um, loads, just finance, HR personnel, okay? And many, many more, media, okay? And many, many more, but make sure you get a skill. This will not benefit you if the only skill you have is how to plate your hair or something. You need to have a skill that is in demand. Also know that most of these countries have what is called a shortage occupations list. A shortage occupation. So Netherlands has a shortage occupations list. Germany has a shortage occupations list. Austria has a shortage occupations list. Lux Luxembourg has a shortage occupations list. You must be able to find those occupations list and see if what the skill you have is on that list. If the skill you have is on that list, then you can apply for jobs in those countries, positions that have visa sponsorship, you know, jobs that have visa sponsorship. Okay. Now, visa sponsorship means that these jobs will sponsor you. They will pay for everything, relocation fees, visa fees. You can move with your family and stuff like that. Okay. The first website I'm going to start with, I have them documented on my phone. The first website I'm going to start with is a website called ind.nl. Okay. ind.nl. But what I want you to do is go on Google and type, if you go on Google and just type, public register recognized sponsors public register recognized sponsors go on google and type it the first website you often see is ind.nl this is for the netherlands if you click on that website it brings you to a page that shows you four different tabs public register regular labor and high skilled migrants public register or pair and exchange if you're into if you want to do a pair public register educational institutions, if you want to go as a teacher, as a lecturer, and public register scientific researcher, if you want to go as a researcher. So based on what you want, click on any of this and you will see a list of different companies that are hiring in the Netherlands and are able to offer you visa sponsorship. Now, all you need to do is, <laughs> it's a long list. So that's why I said you need to persevere and be patient. All you need to do now is go through that list one after the other and check the companies. Go on Google, put those companies on Google, check their 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 um check their their career portion of their website, see if they have a position that interests you, and then apply. That's number one. The second website I want to talk about is workinestonia.com workinestonia.com. Fantastic website. If you're in marketing, um, if you're in sales, if you're in admin, if you're in um, HR, if you're in tech, this website is fantastic. Okay. And if you open the website, you can put your filter categories, location, and you see different job opportunities, customer support agent, senior internal auditor, executive assistant, IT or detour, mobile app developer, bank um, backend developer, game presenter, English speaking, you know, e-learning assistant, IT analyst, and there are loads and loads of jobs like that. So make sure that these jobs are jobs with visa sponsorship before you apply, okay? And I hope that helps you as well. Now, the third website I want to talk about, so I've talked about the one of um, the Netherlands, okay, the Netherlands, and the second one is Estonia. This third one I want to talk about is for those who are interested in Luxembourg. Luxembourg, fantastic. And um, there are several websites that I'm going to talk to you about. And the first one is job.lu, okay, Job jobs.lu, pardon me, um, jobs.lu, that is for Luxembourg, okay. 
if you go on Google um, and you want, because Luxembourg, um, there's a portion that speaks German, you know, French, English as well. So on Google, just type en.jobs.lu, en.jobs.lu. And you will see positions in accountancy, project management, architecture, banking, call center, construction, education, consulting, finance, fitness, um, healthcare, hotels, HR, industry, insurance, IT, legal, that's lawyers, media, marketing. So just it's a long list. That's another website that I think you should apply. And I hope that would help you as well. Okay. So that's another website. So that's number, where are we now? Number three, I think. We've talked about Netherlands. We've talked about Estonia. And we've talked about um, Luxembourg as well. The next one I want to talk about is jobs.cbtalents.com. Jobs.cbtalents.com. Okay, if you go on Google and just type this jobs.cbtalents.com, you can put a slash on it and write offers, O F F E R S. And you'll see the website as well that shows you whether you want to do full time, part time, or internship. And there are various levels of jobs in different countries that you can check out. Okay. The next website I want to talk about is EnglishSpeakingJobs.com. EnglishSpeakingJobs.com. Okay. Um, sorry, English Speaking Job, not Jobs. EnglishSpeakingJob.com as well is another website that you can take a look and it's got positions for English Speaking Jobs. The next website I want to talk about is for those who are in Canada. Go to www.jobbank.gc.ca, okay? Jobbank.gc.ca. Once you click on that website, it's for jobs with visa sponsorship in um, Canada. Now, you go to, once you open it on your page, you'll see advanced. Click on advanced. Once you click on advanced, you go to the end of the, your page, the end of your page, okay? The end of your page, the last thing you will see is intended applicants. Click on the one that says Canadians and international candidates. Canadians and international candidates. Once you click on that, view the results. You probably have about almost 50,000 results. And those jobs that come out are the jobs that are available with visa sponsorship and they can employ foreigners, okay? They can employ foreigners, all right? So make sure you apply to those jobs. Now, another reason why you might not be able to get jobs in Canada is because some of the companies you're applying to probably don't have LMIA, okay? They don't have LMIA, all right? So what I want you to do is go on Google and type LMIA positive employers list. LMIA positive employers list. Once you put that in on Google, the first website that comes out is a government website. And you would see something like temporary foreign worker program. If you click on that temporary for foreign worker program, once you click on it, you would see a list. Okay, just go to the end of the list. The list probably starts from 2014 up until 2020, I'm looking at it right now, um, up until 2023, okay? 2023, Q1, Q2, okay? You want to make sure that you click on the one that is English, not French. Well, French if you speak French, but click on the one that has English, Q2, um, and then you would see a list that you can download. Click on download and it will open a list of various companies for you that have positive LMI. That means they are allowed, they can employ foreigners. So all these companies, just put them on Google, okay? Pick one of those companies, check them out on Google. Do they have a position I want to apply for? Apply. If they don't have, go to the next one. That's why I said it requires a lot of patience 
and perseverance. Patience and perseverance, okay? So the next website we're going to look at now is uh, particularly for my teachers, okay? If you're a teacher, this website, this website, you want to look at them, all right? The first one is www.m dot vipkid.com vipkid.com slash teach okay that's the first website it has teaching jobs okay the second one i want you to check is teacher dot qkids.com slash job okay teacher dot qkids.com slash job qkids k-i-d-s dot com slash job the next one i want you to check is itutor.com i-t-u-t-o-r dot com slash teach t-e-a-c-h hyphen with hyphen us us okay itutor itutor.com slash teach hyphen with I think us. That's another website for teachers. The last one I want to give teachers is tutorlanding.cambly.com. Tutor, T U T O R, landing, L A N D I N G, dot Cambly, C A M B L Y, dot com. Okay. That's another website that I think teachers can apply for. All right. The next set of websites is for those who are interested and looking for jobs in Australia. For Australia, I want you to check recruitment websites. Now, some of these websites I'm going to call to you, I, have, I think I have three of them. Make sure that you check. Another point that I need to mention to you is nobody should ask you for money when they want to offer you jobs. So if someone is saying pay money, please do not pay them money, okay? Now, three websites that I wanted to check. The first one is adzuna, adzuna.com.au, ad zuna.com.au fantastic website and you can see several filters that you want to use you can apply for jobs there as well the second one is connecting.com connecting with a k www.connecting.com and the third one is www.southerncrosspersonnel okay s o u t h e r n C R O W S P E R S O W N E L Southern Cross Personnel dot com. Those three ones would help. Another thing you can do for Australia and New Zealand jobs is to download an app called Jora, J O R A. Download that app and you'll see it's easy to navigate. Download the app and begin to use it. Okay. I hope that also helps as well. Um, I'm sure that these websites, uh, there are a lot, and you probably will need time to go through them. I think you should go through them, okay? Go through them, um, and hopefully they yield results for you. I'm going to stop here now. There are many, many websites we can go through, www.seek.com.au, www.seek.co.nz, and seek is S-E-E-K, Okay. Um, and I'm hoping that these websites would have helped you in some way or gingered you or pushed you to start applying for jobs abroad. Till I see you again in another episode, another video. It's your one and only Waka Waka Doctor, and I'm signing out. <laughs>